one main problem with DevOps and cloud and technology in general is that people learn a little bit and they believe that they know pretty much everything about the technology. So I was uh, I usually follow my uh, mentor uh, Adrian's uh, courses, uh, slightly expensive, uh, but he usually talks about it in his uh, blogs and I, I you know. Uh, resonant with this one. Um, so he will highlight that uh, when when a child starts learning something or anyone, right? Um, they start learning from here and. After learning just a little bit like like in in AWS and DevOps, they would create an EC2 instance and they will know like they know all about cloud computing and everything. <laughs> just the basic and they will celebrate it on social media and everywhere that you know. I know pretty much everything and uh, I should maybe start looking for jobs. I should, uh, you know, look for a 200% hike or any anything of that sort. Very soon they realize, you know, if they get a job or they start working on something, they actually, you know, when they question themselves or, or the industry questions them, that's when they realize that they don't know that much the certification or or the learning that they did from that specific YouTube channel, which only helped them learn create an EC2 instance is not enough actually to to get into a job and start learning and start contributing and adding value to the new company or new project. That's when you, you acknowledge that you don't know you get into an insecure space where you have to spend time from where you can and then you can reach to the same level again. So this is the journey. Uh, if you look at anybody, you know, talking or bragging on social media, think of him into this this area, this space. And if you believe, uh, you know, you are in this area somewhere, uh, you, you believe that after learning something, it is the right place to be. Even if you are here, this is where the this is actually the second or third step in the journey. So you have covered all this. You realize that you need to learn a lot. There is a lot and that's where you start feeling ashamed a little bit, embarrassed a little bit to start with. But once you realize that's where the journey starts, that's where you start learning good things. And what I usually uh, tell in my uh, other videos as well, the best way is to by doing things, not by watching some YouTube videos or following some um, trainer or mentor or something like that. Just get their ideas. Build a simple project to start with, but don't stop there. Simple projects will take you to this child hills only. Uh, if you really want to be a professional, you have to build medium complex projects. Follow all the best practices. Understand what good practices you have followed in this project that you can take to the industry you, that you can expand on. That sort of uh, uh, objective you should have by building things. And I am conducting one such webinar on 1st of July. The link is in the description. So you can join that uh, webinar and uh, we will try to build something uh, medium to complex project. And if you are mature enough, you are senior enough, I can add complex specifications to the same project. So you will be building something substantial. If you are smart, you can actually project that as a six months experience in your resume, and I am happy to issue a, a experience certificate for you if you need that. Thank you so much for today. See you in the next video.